Hey there, Capricorn. Let's talk about what February 2024 has in store for you. So this is a time frame, right, where we have all those fast-moving planets going through Aquarius. Aquarius, of course, is the sign of change. It's the sign of new energy. So when we have that new moon happening there, when we have these fast-moving planets going there, we're looking for a little bit of shift and change. And then for you, this is going to be happening in the second house of finances, right? The sun in Aquarius is shining a light on that. But it's also shining a light on the other Aquarian side, which is about freedom. It's shining a light on what you need for that financial freedom. We have Venus, the planet of money we, and the planet of love as well too. We have Mercury, the planet of the mind and our mindset and our thought process. We have Mars, the planet of making things happen. And we have Pluto, the planet that makes the changes happen, right? It's the planet of transformation. All of this energy is happening in that second house for you the one time of year. So if you're ready to make some manifesting changes, right? Manifest what it is that you want to see happen for the upcoming year, but also long term, right? Because Pluto is working on the slow process of really transforming your financial sector anyway. This is where we put our seeds out to the universe of manifesting of what we want. Vision that you're there. Feel that you have that wealth. Feel that you have the things that you need. And send that bad signal out to the universe that this is what I know that I deserve. This is what I am worth, right? Because that's also what that second house deals with. It's not just financial you know, tangible money. It's about the, the, how much we value ourselves. It's about the values that we stand for. And maybe this is a time frame this month where you're reassessing what it is that you stand for. What is it that you value most? And maybe writing that down at the new moon too. And what can I do to make sure that I'm living this on my day to day, right? Am I seeing this happen? Do the people in my life also portray these values as well too. And that new moon gives us a chance to say, okay, maybe these things aren't happening. Help me to know what I can do to move forward in this new energy, right? Valuing yourself and saying, I'm worthy, right? I'm worthy of great things. That's exactly what all that energy is going to be happening. And then so maybe, right, we realize where those changes need to occur. We have Mars, the planet of making things happen. It's the energy, it's the engine of the universe. Well, our universe, <laughs> the solar system. We have that aligning with Pluto, the planet of intensity and transformation. So when you have the planet of making it happen, aligning with the planet of change, we will be feeling around Valentine's Day that we need to make it happen right? So this may be where you realize you've already created those plans on what it is you need to find that financial freedom. Freedom. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. That is exactly what you're going to do in that time frame is get your feet moving forward to make those changes, right? Maybe it's where you draw your line in the sand and say, no more spending, no more this, no more that, whatever it might be. That's definitely going to be happening in that time frame. Now we look at those things and we say, okay, I want this money, but what do I need to do to make that happen? We have the full moon happening in your ninth house, way over there, right? Full moons are a time where, you know, the sun and the moon are in complete opposition to each other. And as a result, the sun shines a light on every crack and crevice that that moon has to offer. So all things that are hidden come to light. And so you might be finding with that financial energy what you need to do to make those changes, that that ninth house might be the answer, right? We find in astrology that the answer always comes in the opposition. So ninth house deals with higher learning. Maybe it's about going back to school. Maybe you're actually already done that and you're completing something in school. Maybe you're getting that certification, you're getting that degree, whatever it might be, or you're recognizing and realizing that in order to move forward, you're going to need to do that as well. Maybe that's it. Full moon is a time for travel. Maybe you find that you're traveling for work. Maybe you're just going on a trip. Whatever it might be, this full moon kind of helps bring things to light that we can learn through those travels of the mind and physically, right? They may bring the insights that you need for that financial sector down below. So, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful February.